In a word, how would I describe Catherine? The first word that comes to mind is loyal. Friendly, insightful. Charming. Caring. Nurturing. Brilliant. Inspirational. And tough. One of a kind. Catherine Gebbie is the best director one could ever hope for in a scientific organization. A, a scientist and a scientific administrator par excellence. She sort of made much of NIST what it is today. She was the founding director of the physics lab, the only director of the physics lab. She was the founding director of the physical measurement laboratory. Uh, I was her deputy director in the physics laboratory for, for 20 plus years and also in the physical measurement laboratory. And she realized, as I did, the people around us are brighter than we are. Catherine was the person that recognized what I could do. Catherine was, you know, in this position of head of what's now the physical measurement lab for a very long time, during which amazing things happened, right? And I see Catherine as enabling all of that. She was the first uh, female laboratory director here at NIST and the mother of four Nobel Prize winners. She has the qualities that are perhaps indefinable, but nevertheless make a scientific organization work. And I think what she was one of the pioneers who showed that women can do an amazing role as a director. She's known for, for her philosophy of trying to find good people and, and support them and let them go. The way she always explained it to me is, is to get good people, put them together, get out of the way. That's a really simple thing to say. And other people who would say the same thing didn't get the kind of results that Catherine got. Four Nobel Prizes uh, uh, between 1997 and 2012. That, that's remarkable, just absolutely impressive. Catherine has always made it clear that what she's looking for is excellence. Excellent in all, in all different dimensions, whether it's, whether it's research, whether it's metrology. She always listens to you, but also she was firm. So she is someone who has her own ideals. She knows, I think this is good for Nice, and I'm going to pursue this direction, and I'm going to make this happen. One of the things that I really appreciated about Catherine was when she wanted to talk to me, she would call me up and say, can I come over? She didn't say, Bill, would you please come over to my office? She said, Bill, can I come over to your office? She's the director of the laboratory, okay? I'm a bench scientist. But what she, what she showed you, what her interaction with you is, is, was truly genuine. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't just part of the job. If something goes wrong, I will take the blame and, and you can take the credit. And that's what Catherine always does. Everybody got to feel special. There's very few bosses who make everybody feel special. And that's really the character of Catherine. She treats people with genuine love and caring, and I'm eternally grateful to Catherine for that. Buildings get named after lots of different people for lots of different reasons. This one just seems to me particularly right. She really dedicated her life and energy into making NIST a great place. I think everybody who walks into that lab every day will know that they're walking into a special building. I told her I would, I would be proud to walk into her building each day. She's special. She really is. And, uh, thanks, Catherine. Congratulations, Catherine. Big time congratulations. In some sense, she climbed the, the scientific Mount Everest. This is what Catherine did, and we needed to maintain that same spirit.